Hey guys, welcome to today's Procore training. What I wanted to talk about today was a new feature I found out um, just today, actually. It's it's that cool that I wanted to make a video and share it with you guys. It's called Project Links. So here I am on a project, um, project home screen of Mr. Daryl's project. And so just scroll down here to Project the Links. Um, and so this is an area where specifically at Next Step you can link to a Google Doc or a Google Sheet um, and it will display right here. So that's um, really nice because there isn't a great integration between um, Google products and Procore, but this is kind of the first initial start of it. So um, let's go over here to your document first because there are some setup things that you need to do first. So um, here I am at Mr. Daryl's estimate. So go ahead and click on the share button. Um, and really what you want to make sure is that uh, shareable um, links are on. Um, and then you want to make sure that the correct um, setting is on. So uh, you're going to want um, to turn on anyone with the link. And so anyone who has access to this link can access, no sign in required. And so um, because you don't know who's going to be accessing it, but you, you can imagine anyone um, who you've added to your project will be able to access it if they have the link. And the next thing you want to do is, so this can be up to you, um, but I'm going to start off with can view, um, and then if anyone else needs higher access than that, um, then they can get that access. But if, if you're just putting estimates and documents on, typically it's just a read-only type of thing. So go ahead and save it, and then copy the link. It's copied to your clipboard. Go back to the project, uh, hit new, and then so enter in the URL. And then I'm going to do a title here. So this was the spring break estimate. And that, and then you just hit save. And that's it. So <clears throat> now it comes up here, spring break estimate. You should be able to edit it there or delete it completely. So I'm going to show you how this works. Going to get rid of these two. And now open a new tab. And here we have this document. So that is a really cool feature and now it can kind of complement uh, things that Next Step is already doing with Google Docs um, and then adding it into Procore. So you should be able to do this to any type of document, whether it's a project application, uh, whether it's um, just a document, um, uh, maybe you have a, a list of the project needs or, or anything. Um, so this is a really great way to connect the two. So thanks for watching guys. Bye.